Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, today's video is going to be called When Not to Talk to Your Spirit Guides or Angels. So first of all, we've got to understand what these entities are, correct? So let's go there. Angels are heavenly beings. They have extremely um, higher abilities and senses than just mere mortals who are we, the humans. Okay, They are embodiments of everything pure and white love. Unless they fall, which are the fallen angels, whereby they are corrupted by the um, negative energies. Okay, so that's why we get the D word, which I don't say the D words, but it sounds like Matt Damon's surname. Okay, so let me go there with angels. What can they do for us? They can be our guides, they can be our support network. They can certainly direct us for things that are in our higher good or in our best intentions, okay? They extremely proven many, many times that they are actual beings, okay? I've personally seen angels with their feathers, okay? So it is true. Their wings, I should say, because there were feathers on my floor in my lounge room when they appeared. That's a story for another day. So, angels are real. Then we have a version of them which are called our spirit guides. These are entities that have signed up to be our guardians for our whole existence from the time of conception right until the time of our deaths. They are often there with us, helping us through the pearly gates, if you believe in all that sort of stuff, okay? So, what do spirit guides do? They guide us to stay on our path of what we have contracted ourselves to do. So if we have contracted ourselves before birth, when we're in heaven, before our reincarnation, if, they, if we sign up and say, okay, I'm going to live in poverty. I am always going to be poor. I will be a generous person even though I have no material gains. Our spirit guides will keep us to that path. So if there's a chance that we're going to be a millionaire, they say, uh, hang on, you signed up to be poor. We're not going to let you go that way to get that million dollar winnings today. So they can create obstructions, they can create distractions, and most of all, they can give us signs to do other things. And this is where we say, bit, 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 it's in my higher good. I've got to win a million dollars today. But that's our own ego wanting more money, thinking that is going to be in our best intention. But ultimately, these beings know us so well that they know that it doesn't matter how much money we have, that it's what we do with the lessons that are presented to us and whether we pass them. Okay, so that's a good little example there of how sometimes angels and guardian angels and spirit guides can keep us poor. <laughs> even when presented with million dollar opportunities because we have simply contracted ourselves to always be in poor so now we look at that in other aspects of our lives and things will also become clear to us correct so i've just been watching this video that was sent to me in an email and this guy i'm not going to say his name because i'm sure there's more than this out there this guy is sitting there and he says never communicate with your spirit guides why the heck not oh that's right because there's warnings warning warning will robinson burp, 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 burp. 
There are warnings to everything that we do, right? Even walking down the street, there's a warning, don't trip over. (laughs) If we eat, warning, don't choke. So there's warnings with everything we do, right? So when we're communicating, especially with entities and other energy forces that are not to be seen, that we don't trust them, the warning that I give people is if we don't know what these things are because we can't physically see them, how do we know that we can trust them? Okay. So this is where in my tarot, because I just mentioned it in my tarot that I did about an hour or so ago, that um, because I pulled out the devil card, this guy pretends to be working in our best interests. But the way that these energies and entities, the way that they lose their power is when we don't give it to them. So whenever we do connect with our spirit guides, archangels, angels, guardian angels, whoever else, deceased grandmother, whenever these things, entities, beings, energy beings come into us, always sit there and be very rational. Use your common thinking. Use your own cognitive um, intellect and ascertain whether you do want to do what is being told to you. That's the warning. It's all right if they say, oh, go up to the shop, you're going to win a million dollars today. How many people have had that dream where they wake up, oh, my God, I just dreamt I went to the shop today and I won a million dollars. And they go to the shop and they do. (gasps) Wow, great. That's, they're in their higher good. So who is it that gives them that information? Is it themselves in a little time slip? Is it their guardian angel? Is it their spirit guide? Is it an angel, archangel, heaven, God? devil could be anybody correct but it's then what we do with that information and it's what we do with that million dollars that we win okay it's what we do under our own free will under our own higher good because that's how we lose power to those who are coming through for malicious intentions so I'm not happy with that guy that I was just listening to Because the other thing that's coming out now, let's go there. There are a lot and a lot of false prophets coming out. So what is a false prophet? It's somebody like myself who comes out of the woodwork. They've now got YouTube, they've got Facebook groups, they've got Instagram, Twitter. They're all over the place. They come out with a couple of books. They've been on some podcasts. And they're prophesizing things to keep us in a negative mindset under the guise that they're spiritual. So how do we ascertain in our own logic whether these people, even myself included, are real deals or whether we're fake? First one is you look at how long they've been doing this for. Have they just come out of the woodwork when they lost their job two years ago? And now they're prophesying, oh my gosh, I'm such a prophet. Are these people who are out for monetary gain? Yes, I ask guys and people, guys, let's get serious here because this is serious. I do ask people if you wish to, you can buy me a coffee, you can buy a reading, you can buy my book. But it's your decision, correct? I don't put pressure on people. I do free readings all the time. I email, people email me and ask me um, advice every day. That's why today I woke up with over 30 emails. Two weeks ago, I had about 800 emails for the whole week. Um, So it was a very, very busy day, week. One day I had 380 emails. Oh my gosh, in one day. So I love doing my free work. Because these false prophets, they don't do anything for free. You'll find that there is always some sort of intention with them that's nasty. You know, I I comment with people and say, hey, I've got a video that explains the answer to your question. Here is the link. Because it's not about me monetizing Facebook or YouTube, because I don't at this point. 
but it lets people watch a 20 minute video instead of five lines in a comment where I try to say something that's really a 20 minute video where I talk so that's why just to help people out that's why I do it um, I consider myself a very caring loving generous person so that's the sort of person that you want to look for when you trust in others in spiritual growth spiritual development and most of all spiritual friends and family correct so we ascertain and we work it out are these people in my higher good are they part of my tribe are these people helping me genuinely or have they got a secret agenda because most false prophets out there they've got a secret agenda they've all got high mortgages or big expensive cars that they're trying to pay the monthly payments on whereby they need ha 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 good word Linda they need people to help them fund their lifestyle now some of you have been to my house some of you have seen my car do I have a big lifestyle absolutely not because I don't think money is as important as others do which is where we come down to with the devil that I just had in my tarot today <clears throat> so if you haven't watched my tarot video go watch it because today I pulled out the devil card and I spoke about how he wants us to be kept in a materialistic world the other card that I got today was love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway now why would I get a card like that if we were never ever to talk to our own spirit guides angels or guardian angels because ultimately guys the only reason why people listen to the false information is because they really don't know what they're doing they haven't worked out who they are as a person. They haven't worked out yet how to stand in their own authority or their own power. So they have to rely on others to give them that advice. That was pretty hard words, Linda. Some of you may have gotten offended by that. But just remember, guys, if you just did get offended by what I just said, time to rewind and listen to those words again because it's not about what I said it's the truth because when we start relying on other people it's because we don't know who we are we've never self-analyzed ourselves to say you know what I've got more integrity than this I've got more dreams hopes and and wants in my life rather than the needs of others because there's a big difference I believe between needs and wants wants are what we need to survive whereas a need is something that um, isn't in our higher good okay and it's actually a negative so I'll do a video about that one at that one, one, 1. 1.2 needs versus wants okay but when we talk about our spirit guides and our angels and our guardian angels always ask them to come in with your messages never not talk to them because we all need their guidance because we are only humans in a materialistic world at the end of the day and they're our link to what we are as eternal souls correct so how do we talk to them I always say be respectful <laughs> tell them how much you love them and always ask for information that is in your higher good under the universal white loving energies of heaven because when we throw those words in there it means that anything negative can't come through so that's where we set our boundaries our rules any any energy that wishes to attach to my mind body soul spirit or energy field has no right to come through you have no right to attach to me if you wish me harm if you wish to be malice malicious if you wish to make me a negative person in any way or form you can now staff off you're not welcome with a capital F 
So we can dictate what and who comes through to us. And that is that warning I spoke about before. Because this guy I was listening to today, he gave no warning. He didn't tell us in his video how or why we should not talk to our angels. He just shut the whole thing down and said, don't never talk to your angels. This is something that the nasties would be doing. So is this guy a false prophet? Is he out there saying, don't communicate with your guides because they don't want us to? So interesting, the food for thought, isn't it, guys? You know, um, I speak to my girl every day, <laughs> not just once a day. You know, it's only, it's nearly 11 a.m. here on Sunday and she's already spoken to me about 50 times just this morning. Um, wow, that's how often she talks to me now. It's all day, every day. Ah, she knows a lover. But at the end of the day, guys, trusting them. You know, she tells me things like go outside. Ultimately, it's my decision if I go outside, correct? I don't just say, oh, I got a message, I have to do this, so I do it. So that's what we do, guys. Whenever you do get a message, really sit there and work it out. Work it out and say, is this something A, I can do? B, should I be doing it? And B and C, is it in my higher good to be doing this for service to others? Remember, negative energies are selfish and conceited. They only do things for us. Good, loving energies, on the other hand, they want us to be service to others. That's a big difference. So is it? Some, are you getting messages just to help you get further ahead? Or are you getting messages that will help others get ahead as well? Because even a message for a million dollars, like I said before, it's all depending on what we do with it, correct? Some people would just go and blow it on a big trip around the world, buy a big expensive car so other people are jealous. Ah, negative of them. Other people would go like I want to do. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Let's go there. If someone gave me a million dollars right now today, I'd be going into the city and giving out $100 notes to the homeless. I'd be hiring a room, write down the address on a piece of paper and say, here, go, go up to this room later and have a shower. Rent's paid for the next week. Go in there, you know, have a shower. Get warm at night. And I don't care if 200 people turn up in the room. <laughs> at least send the body heat, keeps them warm while it's here in Australian winter, right? That's the sort of thing I'd like to do. I'd like to own a big community out in the middle of nowhere where everything is organic no fluoride no chemtrails no mandates where we live free with animals big trees to go and hug so we're all calm tranquil and de-stressed that's what I want to have I don't know about what you have but start thinking about your dreams guys what do you want to create and I hope that it includes other people. Okay? So today, when not to talk to your guides and angels? I don't really think there is a time when we don't. But ultimately, if you start getting messages and you think, oh, that's not in my higher good. That's me being jealous. I'm greedy. That's me being selfish. Really consider that guide then and telling them to nick off. You're not working in my higher good anymore. I don't want you anymore. Nick off. I give you no power. I give you no authority or consent over what I do. Nick off. With a capital F. Okay? Because ultimately, the girl that I have, she knows I make my own decisions. She knows that she sometimes says things to me and I just go, eh, not today. She'll, come, she'll wake me up in the middle of the night and say, oh, I'll go and do a video. And I just think, eh, wrong answer. <laughs> Not today, thank you. But it's on the list. I'll do it at some point. 
So I still show her that respect. But ultimately, she knows that it's my decision if I follow through with what she said. So that's the big thing here, guys. Don't stop talking to your angels, guides and spirit guides. If you do wish to connect with your spirit guide, I see spirit guides. So contact me and there is a small fee, but we talk for about half an hour and I'll tell you what your spirit guide is because I see them all the time. Actually, I just found a picture. Here's a picture I drew for a lady the other day. Um, what have I got here? Eight-year-old Irish lass, circa 1820 to 1840s. So I'll just do up to there because there's some information under it. But there you go. There she is. So I drew that the other day for a lady when I was on the phone to her. Um, then I go onto YouTube. I go onto Google and I look for Irish girls from 1840. So and the, and the clothes match perfectly. It's really funny. So yeah, I'm writing a book about spirit guides. It's going to be starting next week. Um, hopefully I get it out soon rather than later um, so that girl is going in there that's one of the photos I'm going to put in there um, I may just redraw it again because I only did that roughly the other day and there is other information on there I don't want to share that but at the end of the day guys I, I communicate with spirit guides and I get them through I haven't had anyone yet where the spirit guide, guide did not come through because okay, I've been upgraded. I had an upgrade just two nights ago if you watch my upgrade download night video. So it'll be interesting to see what new um, gifts I've acquired from this one. So guys, um, trust is the big one. Oh, and look at the card that we got this morning in the tarot. Trust. What does she say? Love would trust in the angels to guide their pathway. Never stop talking to your angels. Never stop talking to your guides or your spirit guide. Even if you can't see them, all you got to do is just say, hey, are you here? I'm just going to talk, presuming that you can hear me. Because <laughs> that's all we have to do. Even though that sounded pretty comical. <laughs> are you here, lady? My lady? I don't even call her by name. I don't know her name. Hey, hello. I don't know if you can hear me, but thank you so much that you're here today. <laughs> Please know I love you, I respect you, and most of all, I appreciate that you're here. Love her. So we just talk to them. Because they do hear. And it's when they, they see that we do need their help, they will interrupt and come through. And give us messages. Or keep us on our path. Because that's what guardian angels and spirit guides ultimately do. A lot of people now are getting called off their path. They're getting drawn downwards. It's an evil, evil war that we're in at this point. Don't let it happen. Go with your gut. Trust your own instinct. And most of all, be discerning with the information that you receive. Work it out and say to yourself, is this in my higher good? Will this be a benefit to me and others? You know I love you all. What do you think I do this this shows for? Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your solistic alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.